Hey guys, how you doing? This is this week's episode of UTD TV's Campus Consensus. I'm your co-host Richard Mudd Jr. And I'm Haley Zymek. Today we're going around asking questions like... What would you do with a $1.5 billion jackpot? What's the nicest thing a stranger has done for you lately? We have so many social medias. Which one would you use for the rest of your life? And if there's something you could go back in time and not invent, what would it be? Man, that sounds like some fun questions to me. You ready? Right, let's do it. I'm here with Grayson. Edwin Williams. All right, Grace. What's your name, ma'am? Hello, Hupsh. Okay. <laughs> so. <laughs> But it's easy yeah, to remember because I'm like always smiling and my name means hello. So, hello to hello. Emerson. Baria. So, this is Philip. My name is Alex Prince. Alex Prince, AP. I'm here with Sam. Michaela. Anya. So, Emerson, if you won a jackpot of $1.5 billion, what's the first thing you would buy for yourself? A paramotor, <laughs> which is like a paraglider with a big motor on your back, so you can just like fly around wherever the hell you want. It's pretty nice. <laughs> that sounds awesome. Can I get one too? Yeah, you could. <laughs> hmm. I mean, look, it takes money to make money. So what I'm doing, I'm a finance and econ major. So what I'm doing, I'm throwing it right back in the system. I'm reinvesting. I'm making some more. My man trying to be a billionaire for real, for real out here, man. I'm digging it. Um, I think I'll go into business, into the real estate business, buying houses and selling. Oh, that's a very realistic goal. What about like a splurge item? A big car. <laughs> yeah, a big car is nice. Easily I would buy my parents a house. They've done so much for me and this is kind of just like a little thing I can do to give back to them. She's so sweet. Wow, that's crazy. She's so sweet. I think I would donate most of it. I don't need a lot. I already live like a goblin anyways and money isn't too much of a thing. Uh, I would support myself and my family with like housing and cars for the rest of their lives and my life. What car are you getting? Ferrari. Oh that's a nice car. What about yourself? Um, Lambo. Yeah. So you're just gonna buy a Lambo straight with a one? Yep, just a Lambo. That sounds nice to me. Do you some car women? Okay. Well, the very first thing I would spend the money on, which I decided this like years ago, is my best friend, my roommate, John, I'd pay off his student loans. No matter how much he kicked and screamed and said no, I would pay off his loans. That's, that's very nice of you. Because mm -hmm, he works really hard, and if anybody deserves money, he does. So. Okay. First, I mean, I do other things, but that's the number one thing. If you could only use one social media for the rest of your life, what would that be? I would say Instagram. Any particular reason? Mm, just because I'm there most of the time and it's, I think it's more private and fun than the other ones. So. Mm -hmm, I agree. I'm going to have to go with IG. I'm a why, why, why are you going with IG? Um, I mean, well, actually, it seems like uh, now these days you want to just slide in the DMs, right? IG really seems like the best the, the best option that we got. And for those of y'all that don't know, I got a YouTube. It's Alex Prince. Go ahead, check it out. I just made a video sliding in some IG DMs. So. Hey, that's a quick plug right there. Alex Prince. What was it again? It's uh, Alex Prince on YouTube. On YouTube. Check him out. Instagram, I guess. And why is that? Because it's photo focused. So I think that's like the best form of social media. Do you like taking pictures? Not particularly, but I like looking at them. <laughs> Snapchat. Instagram. Why Snapchat? Because you can see what everyone's doing while talking to your friends privately. Why Instagram? You can see everyone's posts, see what they're up to. Check in on people, okay. Probably not even a social media per se. I would just pick Reddit. Reddit's where I spend most of my internet time anyways, so I've got some quality content there. It's all, it's all good there, so yeah. Probably Snapchat. Why? Um, I can choose what goes on there and what doesn't. I mean, I know Facebook is on there, but Facebook is slightly more permanent, where Snapchat is not as permanent. Things just kind of go away. So I don't have to worry about people keeping track of what I just said. You got a lot to hide, don't you? Not playing around. <laughs> I think it'd be Facebook. It's the most useful as far as getting in touch with people, especially, you know, family and old friends. It's probably one of the oldest that's still in use today, right? 
Yeah, I mean, I think that keeps it well established. And if, you know, if I want to find somebody or get in touch with them, it's really easy as opposed to Instagram, which is mostly for posting pictures of food. <laughs> food photography, yeah. I do participate in food photography. Not myself, no. Me neither. I think Twitter. Twitter, you get everything, I believe. Uh, depending who you follow, you get either memes and funny stuff like that. Um, and then you also get like political news around the U.S. or just big events around the world, stuff like that. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, probably Reddit, because I don't know if that counts as social media, but that's my. Yeah, I, I think it counts. Yeah, that's the main platform I do things on Reddit, so. All right. Easily, I would think I would choose YouTube. And I know some people maybe don't count that as like social media, but I think I definitely do, because like some of my favorite comedians, like Cody Ko and Danny Gonzalez and Drew Gooden, like just randomly giving them shout outs as if they're gonna see this. Like, Sponsored. Like the funniest people basically. And I feel like I can just get like lost for hours, just like watching their videos and watching like, either be it like listening to a Disney song or like watching a documentary or just like watching my favorite comedians. I love YouTube as well, that's a great choice. If there was one thing that you could go back and not invent, what would that be? And not invent, oh man. Yes, just stop from ever coming into existence. Mm. Damn, that's a hard one for me. Like a Furby or jorts. I'm trying to think a bit too complex with this right now. Jeez. Um, uh, I don't know. Oh gosh. I mean, if I could disinvent anything, I think it would be the app TikTok. <laughs> That's I mean, a good choice. I like that, you know, kids are out there, you know, living their life, they're doing their thing, but like the older people who are like on it, I think it's kind of a mess, so. Those like bath mats in the shower that like are supposed to stop you from slipping but like all they do is catch like dirt and hair and they just get disgusting like those things are horrible i don't see why anyone owns them all right okay mm. anti-vaxxation as a movement can i just stop that from happening ever just like all of that bad research just throw it out and never let it take hold that that's good that's a fair idea <laughs> that, that yeah that works yeah um, go to her first. Let me think about it. Go to her first. <laughs> Stop. I'd probably have to pick lobotomy. I always found it particularly disgusting. That is a good point. Yes. How do you, uh, how'd you come across that opinion? Oh, just watching some interesting YouTube videos about, you know, old asylums and things like that. It was one of the available treatments that was particularly terrifying gruesome too. I don't like um, chalkboards. I hate chalkboards. I like whiteboards. The noise and stuff like yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Screech on the wall. So you agree? Yeah. Okay, they would get rid of chalkboards. That's a good answer. Bomb. <laughs> a bomb? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I will like stop that idea from people. Yeah, that that's a good one. It's, it. That's kind of hard, you know, me, I like, I go with the flow of things. So it's like, if something was invented, it was made to be invented. You know, there was an issue to be solved. So I feel like if you disinvented something, it would throw everything else out of whack. So, you know, I'm gonna just keep it how it is. He gonna keep it how it is, man. He a natural move, you know what I'm saying? He don't want to mess up the universe and everything that's going on. You know, don't make things more complicated than what they already are. What's the nicest thing a stranger has done for you lately? <laughs> if there is one. Lately, uh, once I was at work and helping someone with their computer, and they gave me a $20 tip, which is uh, not generally accepted, so. But did you accept that $20 tip? Uh, very discreetly. I see. I'm not going to say this is the nicest, because I can't think of it right off bat, but actually this morning, uh, someone, I guess, ahead of me in the drive through line paid for my breakfast. And I really believe in paying it forward. So what did I do? <laughs> I took my food and I dipped. I did not pay for the person behind me because, look, we broke out here. We college students, so that's what it is. Hey, man, look, you got to accept your blessings, man. I mean, people tend to, like, not run into me when we're walking past each other on the street, so I feel like that's something. Isn't that just a common courtesy? <laughs> yeah, but, like, it's better than nothing. <laughs> 
Um, I left my credit card at home and someone actually paid for my gas. Wow. Yeah. Wow. It was like 10 bucks, but it got me, it got me back home so I could get my credit card. But yeah, they're like, yeah, I'll pay for your gas. I'm like, oh my gosh, thank you. That's yeah. nice. Whoever that person is, shout out to you, man. Keep doing what you're doing. Um, I was standing in line order, waiting to order food and they paid for it when they were behind me. Did you do the same favor for the person behind you? No. <laughs> All right, I was so in shock. I wasn't thinking about it. I feel that. What about you? My parents bought me stuff. My parents bought me stuff, too. I love you, parents. You know what I'm saying? It's all good. Uh, I love that question because I feel like we should always be kind to each other, even if it's not. Um, I was having a particularly bad day just because, like, it was a lot of exams. It was super stressful. And I was walking, and, like, I guess, like, this one person, like, saw that I was, like, kind of upset or I was visibly upset. So, like, this person I don't even know, she comes up to me. She's like, hey, I know I, like, don't know you at all, but, like, do you want to, like, talk about anything? Because you look like you're stressed out. So we ended up talking for, like, 20 minutes, and it was just, like, I let my feelings out, and then I, like, exchanged numbers with her after that. So I just What's her name? Friends right now, Yelda. <laughs> Yelda, you're a great person. Keep doing what you're doing. All right, That's Richard, crazy. what did you learn today? Well, I learned with $1.5 billion, a lot of people want to buy cars, yeah. Lambos, houses. Rolls what about Royce. you? Rolls Royce. Rolls Oh, Rick yeah. Ross, he the bought no, plan. A lot of people like Instagram. Instagram and Snapchat for my the top pictures. Two. Yeah. Instagram and Snapchat. And strangers haven't really done much for our, our students lately. That is very true. And some people even call their parents a stranger. Very interesting. We got some interesting uh, choices for inventions. <laughs> a lot of my people did not want to throw off the balance of the universe. They wanted to preserve the universe. Oh. Yeah, oh. so very interesting. Thanks for watching this week on Campus Consensus. We are here every other Tuesday at 2.20 p.m. in the SU and around all the campus. Come out if you want to be featured on Campus Consensus. All right, thank you guys. Tune in next week.